What's up, Dazzle Dolls? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a fill. The set you're looking at, I did March 5th. And she came back to me on March 27th. So watch me work as I start by taking off this old gel polish and any lifting acrylic. So for removing acrylic, you'll want to use a coarse sanding band or a metal coarse bit. That is what I have here. It is strictly designed for taking off acrylic as well as soak offs and taking off gel polish as you can see. And on both of my clients hands she literally just lost her big cherry stone that's what looks like is missing right there but if you guys want my stone application on here just let me know my stones do last over a month so yeah keep that in mind And it may look like I have gone towards her little piece of nail bed that's up there, but I have not touched that with this hard bit. I am only filing on that acrylic, only filing on that acrylic. And I'm not sure if you're noticing, but as I file each fingernail, I am reshaping that moon cut at the tip of each nail just to make sure that it's nice and crisp how I had it when I first did the nail set. She also wanted to go a little bit shorter on these. So if you see me uh, on any of them kind of filing more in that middle, I'm just using that time to reshape as well as shorten the nail. And of course, what you do to one hand, you must do to the other. So you're going to want to go ahead and file off all of that gel polish, all of that acrylic, kind of reshaping the nail as you are also 
filing down to get ready to do your fill. Anything that you see lifting, you wanna file that as much as possible so you can reapply that foundation and the nail will be solid for a good two more weeks to a month. You can even tell here that these nails were still pretty, pretty solid. They were actually still really nice as far as the design as well. But my client has actually had this original set since January. We've just been doing fills over them. So she had one nail that was lifting and she wanted to go ahead and come in and get that taken care of. And why not just get a whole new design while you're at it? So after I'm done filing everything down, you see me going in here with a cuticle bit. I'm gonna go around each finger and push that cuticle back with this drill bit. After I do that, I'm going to go around with the sanding band. And this is just to get that layer of cuticle off as well as give me a little more room when I'm applying that new layer of acrylic. But that's also just your prep, the same that you would do when you're starting a new set, how you push that, that cuticle back and you work on that new layer of nail bed, you just wanna get that shine off and you can go ahead and start your acrylic after that. I use very fine sanding bands you don't want it to be a coarse sanding band because you don't want to hurt the nail plate at all. You don't want to file too much on that nail plate. So I do use a very, very soft 
or fine sanding band to get that layer of shine off as well as any leftover acryl or cuticle sorry excuse me that was left there when I pushed the cuticle back So if you have watched my application video, you know that now I am priming the nail. I'm using my CND primer in a blue bottle. That is the first layer after my dehydrator, which is just alcohol. And my last layer is always going to be that Young Nails Protein Bond. You see me applying that here. That is my holy grail and like one of the best things I could have ever done for my retention. And I have absolutely been loving this Mia Secret Cover Pink Acrylic Powder. My clients also have been requesting it at their appointments. I love that it has this super cute glittery finish to it. Um, you can definitely see it before top coat, but after top coat, it pops really, really nicely. I love that it's universal. I use this on my melanin mommies, and I also use this on my more light skin clients and it looks beautiful on any skin tone i would highly recommend Y'all, I remember when I first started doing nails, 2019, early 2020, and Mia's Secret Acrylic used to be so runny. Um, their monomer has gotten so much better. I do recommend that for beginners, but look at this powder, y'all. The Mia's Secret Acrylic Powder has gotten 100% better. There's no marbling. It lays like butter i absolutely love this powder you can manipulate it as long as you need to to get it in place to where you're trying to go
and as y'all know i am the queen of getting things out of frame i promise i'm working on that but i did go ahead and just take out those clips this time i don't want you guys watching anything that you aren't learning from but yes this is the other hand me finishing up the application on that hand and once i'm done with this i did forget to record me actually applying the spider gel but i will add clips of what the nails looked like when i was done at the end So now that I'm done with application, I am going to go ahead and go straight into filing. I do not use a hand file at the beginning. I will go in with that same sanding band that I used to prep the nails and just seal the cuticle as well as buff the whole nail out, making sure that it's smooth, going down the sides, making sure that they're as straight as possible, and also going into that moon cut, making sure that it is the shape that I want. Now that everything is all filed, you see me here buffing the nails. It is sped up, so I promise I'm not being rough. It does look like I'm being rough, but I'm going very, very light on my actual client. If you see anything that needs to be fixed, better you fix it than your client see it and they're already gone and they hate their nails because of that one little flaw. So as you see, I will go in and fix anything I feel like needs to be fixed. I will file anything I feel like needs to come off. But buffing after you file just helps to smooth that nail out so you can add your designs.
Now here, you see me going in with that hand file only because this nail I had to build out a little more on the side because she had chipped it. So I did over apply acrylic on the side and I'm just going in and fixing that, correcting that, getting it the same width as the other middle finger so one doesn't look thicker than the other. So now application and everything filing is done. I'm going in with some swipe by Young Nails, which is literally just alcohol with a little bit of acetone in it. I'm cleaning up those nails, getting them nice and smooth with that um, cleaning agent just to make sure that there's no dust on there when I start drawing. And this is the finished product. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for what's next.